Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next on Eyewitness News at 11, a state law that would have made prison to release credits public did not pass. We'll take a look at why tonight. I'm your overly competitive brother. Check. Psych. <laughs> and I'm about to steal this game from you, just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? You got no game. Dude, that's a foul. And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Real mature. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Colbert's new with Jennifer Garner and Congresswoman Katie Porter, tonight on CBS. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The agents that disappeared, what were they working on? Oh, God. A new Equalizer, new episode Sunday on CBS. 1,000 positions hiring. Endless opportunity. Benefit from world-class training. A six-figure starting salary. And make a positive difference in your community. Apply now, scan the code, or visit jointhechp1000.com. This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11. First at 11, a state law that would have made prisoners early release credits public did not pass the state's Senate Public Safety Committee in vote today. The bill was introduced to the committee after the killing of Selma police officer Gonzalo Carrasco in January. His suspected killer, Nathaniel Dixon, served five months of a five year sentence for a crime before the shooting before being ordered released by the California Department of Corrections. CBS 47's Esteban Reynoso is live in studio with a closer look at today's vote. Brian, the author of this bill, of this proposed bill, used the killing of Officer Carrasco as one of the catalysts for Senate Bill 288 to try and make prison time credits public information. Today, local law officials disappointed with Sacramento, but not surprised. It's despicable and it needs to be stopped. Fresno County District Attorney Lisa Smith-Camp frustrated over the denial of Senate Bill 288. The bill would have made state prisoners early release credits and why or how they've earned them public. Smith-Camp feels the vote is politically motivated. What it tells me is that there are three people who abstained because they know it's the right thing, but their political donors or whoever has placed them in this, this very powerful position doesn't want them to vote. The bill was introduced on February 2nd, two days after Selma police officer Gonzalo Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. was shot and killed. His suspected killer served five months of a previous five-year sentence. I've been in the business 26 years. Not much surprises me anymore. Selma Police Chief Rudy Alcaraz says he is disappointed in the vote, but wants to understand why the committee members voted the way they did. I don't know what um, information those legislators have in front of them. I would hope that they've met with um, members of our California Police Chiefs Association and victims of these crimes uh, to, to get their perspective. Opponents of the bill say it would violate the privacy rights of former or current prisoners. We sent an email to every public safety committee member on Tuesday afternoon. We did not get a response. When our communities are asking of us to protect them and, and make it safe for their children to go to and from school, it, it, it can be a little disheartening because it's, it's difficult to um, communicate as to why people are released early. According to the Legislative Analyst's Office, roughly 55,000 prisoners are released onto parole early. Smith Camp saying that the families of victims have every right to ask tough questions of California lawmakers. When you have your son or your daughter or your loved ones stolen away from you because of the failures of the government of the state of California, you're damn right that you should be given some answers. 
Despite the bill failing today, it could be up for reconsideration in the future. Live in the studio, Esteban Reynoso, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. New at 11, an arson arrest at the Visalia Cemetery. Just after 3 o'clock this afternoon, police found a shrub on fire. They put out the fire and found 29-year-old Dravion Hicks in the area. Officers then found other shrubs on fire. They gathered evidence that showed Hicks started those fires and those grave sites were damaged. Also new at 11, the search is on for a man who assaulted a woman at a liquor store in Fresno. Police said it happened on March 5th at the Liquor King on North Blackstone Avenue. The victim was standing in front of a man in line when she dropped money on the ground. He picked it up and when confronted by the woman, pushed her and then left the store. The guy got away in an early 1990s model single cab blue Toyota pickup truck. What an arm. There he is, Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer doing the honors tonight, throwing out the first pitch for the Grizzlies home opener downtown Fresno. The team hosted the Stockton Port in game one of a six game series. Extremely excited. It's like uh, I'm a season ticket holder. It's my fifth year and just love coming to these baseball games day and night. Angelique Martinez will have more on tonight's home opener in Sports Central. Not nearly as warm for us today. Yesterday we were in the upper 80s. Today we dropped back to the mid 70s, but that's still a little bit above average. Tomorrow we're going to cool down even more and that's going to drop us to be below average again. Let's go ahead and give you a look outside with our Valley Cam Network. This is going to be a time lapse from our CBS 47 studio camera. Starting out this afternoon, we also saw a few more clouds today compared to yesterday, but those are starting to clear out. We're going to be clearer tonight and we have more sunshine on the way tomorrow. 64 in Fresno now, we still have 60s in Hanford, along with Visalia. Otherwise, we have 50s in the valley. Midnight temperature will still hold on to 60. We do have 40s on the way tonight, which will be cooler compared to the last few nights. 51 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, then 68 by 5 p.m. So again, cooler than today's 70s. We are going to cool down even more for our Thursday. I'll take a look at that temperature trend and your pinpoint weather forecast coming up. First, we'll send it back to Brian. Valley Republicans are calling for more water storage after major flooding destroyed hundreds of acres of farmland. Congressman David Valadeo, Tom McClintock, and John Duarte were in Tulare County touring the damage and visiting the Friant Dam. Today's visit was also to promote the Water for California Act. It would increase water capacity at some reservoirs and build new ones so water doesn't just wash out to sea. Water shortages and flooding, those are our fault. That's our fault for failing to produce the water projects that previous generations had delivered. We're now watching about 8,000 cubic feet of water every second leaving this dam. The lawmakers say action needs to be taken and taken now so California doesn't lose the opportunity to capture water for future droughts. Fresno County Board of Supervisors votes not to rename parts of Kings Canyon Road, Ventura Avenue, and California Avenue in honor of Cesar Chavez. CBS 47's Catherine Phillips with reaction tonight. I am not opposed to naming a road after Cesar Chavez in any way, shape, or form. I am opposed to erasing one culture over another or putting one above another. In a unanimous vote, the Fresno County Board of Supervisors adopted a resolution opposing the city of Fresno's renaming of Kings Canyon Road to honor Latino labor rights leader Cesar Chavez. Resolution co-sponsor Supervisor Brian Pacheco says the 10-mile stretch of Kings Canyon, Ventura, and California Avenues contains portions of the road owned and maintained by the county. He says the Fresno City Council overstepped its boundaries. Those streets that are jointly owned with the city and the county of Fresno, we do have a say. A prominent African-American community leader says the vote has far-reaching impacts when it comes to the city's diverse makeup. But California Avenue is significant to my history. West Fresno and that particular area of West Fresno is the only area of our city that carries the history and heritage of my people. Fresno City Council member Miguel Arias voted for the renaming on city council. He says it should stand. Other community members say they feel blindsided. This last effort started a year ago. We did notify the residents. A year ago, we received their opposition letter. 
from county residents in a sunny site. Under today's vote, county portions of the road would stay Kings Canyon Road. Portions controlled by the city would be renamed for Cesar Chavez. Resolution co-sponsor Steve Brandau says the whole process should go back to square one. If we say no today, that the city is still going to play a game with portions of that street. And I, I think that they should rehear the entire thing because it's not what they voted on a couple weeks ago. Captain Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. What happens next will be determined by the actions of the Fresno County Council. Of course, stay with Eyewitness News on TV and online at yourcentralvalley.com for continued coverage. Also new at 11, an update on the condition of that dog that was shot with an arrow in Orosi on Friday. We were talking about this earlier this week. We have blurred the picture of the dog's injuries you can see here. The Tulare County Sheriff's Office saying that the dog had surgery Saturday, is recovering and expected to survive. Detectives say 51-year-old Lance Canales admitted to shooting the dog. He is facing charges of felony animal cruelty and resisting arrest. Today, police in Louisville, Kentucky released body cam video of yesterday's deadly bank shooting. Five employees were killed after a co-worker opened fire. Roxana Saberi reports. We do have shot fired. Just three minutes after the first 911 calls, Louisville Patrol officers Nicholas Wilt and Corey Galloway ran toward the bank as shots were being fired, not knowing the gunman had set up an ambush in the lobby. It's easy to tell an officer that you have to run towards gunfire. It's another thing for them to actually do it. Officer Wilt was shot in the head within a minute of arriving on the scene. Officer Wilt was a brand new officer. He had no experience. He never hesitates. Even after getting shot at, this young man went back in to the line of fire in order to protect others. Wilt's training officer, Galloway, was shot in the arm. He continued to return gunfire, finally killing the shooter. Get down! Get the officer! Response wasn't perfect, but it was exactly the response we needed. Um, they did absolutely exactly what they needed to do to save lives. Officer Wilt is hospitalized in critical condition. The gunman killed five of his colleagues, Deanna Eckert, who died Monday night, Joshua Barrick, Thomas Elliott, James Tutt. He took my mama away from me. And 45-year-old Juliana Farmer, who moved to Louisville just over three weeks ago to help raise her four grandchildren. My mom was the sweetest person, loving person, a smile that lit up the room. Police say the suspect legally purchased the AR-15 style rifle one week ago at a local dealer. Detectives searched his home and recovered several items, but are still investigating his motive, while tributes to the victims continue to grow. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Louisville, Kentucky. In news around the state, a pipeline that ruptured, sending thousands of gallons of oil off the coast of Huntington Beach two years ago, is expected to be up and running again soon. But environmental groups and at least one county supervisor are not happy about the decision. Houston-based Amplify Energy says that it passed all regulatory hurdles after repairing the pipeline. The pipeline started spewing oil in 2021. It's believed that a ship's anchor damaged it earlier that year missed an opportunity to move towards a decommissioning of that rig. And so that's my first thought. It's a little disappointing. In a press release, Amplify Energy says safety has driven every aspect of our response, repair and restart operations, and safety will continue to guide our operating philosophy. Take a look at this. The New York Police Department entering the 21st century with a crime-fighting robot to patrol subway stations at Times Square. They can sound an alarm. They can even send messages, kind of like a Roomba vacuum. They will patrol a certain area and then go back to their docking station automatically when they need to recharge. K5 robot provides real-time situational awareness. Another tool on the way, it is called the Star Chase System. It is a GPS tracker that is fired from a canister and sticks to a suspect's vehicle as they get away and then sends back to their exact location. New York police are also going to use a robotic dog you see here to assist in high-risk situations. Still to come here on Eyewitness News at 11, they will be friendly faces during Grizzly Games, conventions, and special events. Fresno's Youth Ambassador Program now underway. And a look inside the new Nordstrom Rack opening in Clovis this week. But first... Here are the winning numbers for tonight's Mega Millions drawing worth $441 million. We will meet right back here in about one minute.
you guys know that over 400,000 kids are in foster care right now? 400,000? Yep. Hmm. Just talking about foster care can help foster care. Come on. Move out the way. Donate your small talk. Real-time views where you live. The Valley Cam Network gives you the latest conditions live. See them on Eyewitness News or online at yourcentralvalley.com. Today, buying drugs is as easy as sending a text. Parents, please talk to your kids about the dangers of fentanyl-laced drugs before it's too late. Tonight, I trained with all the greats. The Pennsylvania Pummeler, the Scranton Scrapper, Kaiser Wilhelm. Come on! Who bears me with Jennifer Garner tonight on CBS. CBS 47 is on your side. Contact us for Eyewitness News Investigates. CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11 with Catherine Herr, Brian Dorman, and Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace on CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Oh, how about this? Clovis getting its own Nordstrom rack. This is a look inside the new store that is opening Thursday, located at the Clovis Crossing Shopping Center at Herndon and Clovis Ave. The store features some of the top brands available at Nordstrom. Doors open at 9 Thursday morning. We encourage you to be here a little early because there are going to be some uh, pre-opening festivities uh, along with gift card giveaways and one lucky customer is going to walk right. into the store with a $1,000 gift card to get started. Nordstrom Rack is also expanding into the South Valley. A store will be opening at the Sequoia Mall in Visalia, but an opening date has yet to be announced. 20 Fresno interns showed up to their first day of work as part of Mayor, Mayor Jerry Dyer's Youth Ambassador Program. The program allows paid interns to be part of a hospitality or cleaning team that focuses on downtown Fresno. Ambassadors will greet you at special events, conventions, and ball games downtown. The goal is to provide teen success in the future. Uh, we have a series of career coaching workshops that we have developed so they can get a permanent position, hopefully here at the city of Fresno or somewhere within our community. This is so great. So far, 20 ambassadors have been hired. Eight of them are from the foster care system. The goal is to hire 25 in total. You have more opportunities to visit the Fresno County Historical Museum. It's located at the Fresno Fairgrounds and gets most of its visitors during the fair. Well, now it'll be open to the public every third Saturday of the month, starting this Saturday. It is free to get in. Parking's also free. The museum is open from 10 till 4. Well, nothing says wedded bliss like a Wienermobile wedding. Yeah, this weekend you can say I do with a little help from Oscar Meyer. That story right after your pinpoint weather forecast. And right now I do have your four-day allergy forecast brought to you by Boz Allergy. Your top pollens, oak, ash, and juniper. Medium high levels for the next four days. Temperatures cooler today and we're going to drop again tomorrow. I'll take a look in your pinpoint weather forecast next. Do you guys know that over 400,000 kids are in foster care right now? 400,000? Yep. Just talking about foster care can help foster care. Donate your small talk. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. The safety of our children is our number one priority. We must help keep them safe, especially as they travel to and from school. Last year in the city of Fresno, there were nine traffic accidents involving children, with one resulting in death. We have a responsibility to pay attention as we traverse the roads of our city. When you get behind the wheel, please slow down in school zones. Always obey crossing guards. Stop for buses picking up and dropping off kids. And always be on the lookout for children in the areas around schools. Let's be street smart. Should I get a business credit card? I, I don't know. Where can I get capital to expand my business? Holy smokes, I think I just saw a UFO. Business owners have questions. How often should I run payroll? Egg roll, a deep fried appetizer. No, payroll. Blue hole, a marine geyser. Payroll! I can answer your questions. And with your local Valley Strong, you always have somewhere to turn. 
Valley Business is Valley Strong. When I got hurt in a car wreck, I had so many questions, so I called Dunyon Law. I'm attorney Connell Dunyon. After a car wreck, just call us. We'll speak with you for free and answer all of your questions. They got me $500,000. Call D-U-N-N-I-O-N. You want to feel important, to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we joined the Army National Guard. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. All around us, events unfolding. Start your day with breaking news from the break of dawn to prepare you for the day ahead. Investigative journalism, pinpoint weather on Eyewitness News this morning. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Precision Civil Engineering. Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Good evening and welcome back. I'm Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace. A little cooler for us today, down from yesterday's upper 80s. We topped out in the mid-70s today, but even with our cool down, we're still above the average high of 72. Morning low, 56 degrees. 50 is our average low, so we were warm with our overnight lows as well. But everything's really going to change tonight. We're going to drop down to be barely below this average. And then high temperatures tomorrow are also going to stay below our average high. It is 64 in Fresno now. We do have 50s, Porterville, Lemoor, Merced at 55. We have 51 if you are in Mariposa right now. Those numbers cooler compared to this point yesterday. So again, we're feeling this cool down by 5 degrees in Fresno. Hanford, 10 degrees cooler compared to this point yesterday. So again, it's been a very noticeable cool down. And I think you'll notice that drop in temperature again tomorrow. Current wind, 9 miles per hour Fresno, but you're really feeling the breeze in Los Banos at 16 miles per hour. As we go through tonight, we'll see these numbers increase, especially after midnight, 10 to 20 miles per hour, similar to last night and then the wind will weaken just a little bit tomorrow up to 15 miles per hour for tomorrow so off and on we'll still get that breeze here's the last 12 hours radar satellite loop we did see more clouds around today compared to yesterday but a lot of those are moving out so we're going to be clearing out tonight and that'll set us up for plenty of sunshine tomorrow we still do have our flood advisory in effect for the san joaquin river from friant dam to mendota this has been extended so now this will stay in effect at least until nine o'clock on friday morning and we also still have our flood advisory for the kings river this day uh, get extended again and that will run until at least nine o'clock on Friday morning. So let's go over the next couple of days. Our forecast starting out at 11 o'clock this evening. Again, clouds clearing out tonight. Here's seven o'clock tomorrow morning, a much cooler start to the day. So we're going to drop down into the 40s tonight. Certainly going to feel chilly compared to the last couple of nights. So there's seven o'clock tomorrow morning, Wednesday. Like I mentioned, more sunshine compared to today. Temperatures though are going to stay on the cool side. So many of you won't make it out of the 60s tomorrow. There's seven o'clock tomorrow evening. Wednesday night, we stay clear. Here's the start of our Thursday. Sunshine Thursday, but temperatures will actually drop a little bit yet again. So for tonight, like I mentioned, we have some 40s on the way. Atwater 41 for your load, then just 67 degrees tomorrow afternoon. In Chowchilla, 41 tonight, 67 tomorrow. Fresno, 49 tonight, 69 tomorrow. Selma, right at 70 tomorrow afternoon. South Valley, Hanford, 48 tonight, 70 degrees tomorrow. Tulare down to 46 tonight, 70 tomorrow afternoon. Mariposa, 46 tonight, 66 tomorrow. Oakhurst, you're also going to top out at 66. And if you're in Springville, 45 tonight and then right at 60 tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. Here's your extended forecast. Upper 60s tomorrow. Thursday will drop back to 67 and then expect to warm up again starting Friday. 72 for the high. 77 Saturday, 78 Sunday. A few changes Monday. You'll notice the wind and we'll also drop back to 73. Tuesday, we cool again down to 70 for the high. In the Sierra, some sunshine tomorrow right at 50. We drop to the 40s Thursday. Warming trend Friday, Saturday, Sunday before changes Monday, slight chance for rain or snow, temperatures cool, and then we'll drop back to the 40s on Tuesday. So we're dropping about 20 degrees between Monday and tomorrow. It's a very fast difference, but uh, I think tomorrow will feel nice and refreshing. Yeah, it is that time of year, isn't it? Yes. You just don't know what to expect. Exactly, yeah. So you do. Roller coaster, yes. Because you're the scientist. And I'll tell but you, us, yes. but it's a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I have something to show you. Uh, if you're looking to tie the knot, you've already done this, but look, there's an interesting new option only in Vegas, right? This weekend, you can say I do in front of the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. 
They're calling it the Wiener, Wienermobile of Love. Couples can sign up on the Oscar Mayer website. The company is covering all costs. I want to read the fine print, though, because they're not paying for travel. They're not paying for hotel, but everything else. Um, each ceremony will be officiated by what they are calling a hot dogger. Uh, you can even get a cake <laughs> that is shaped like a wiener dog. Last time we had the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, they had the catalytic converter stolen. So I'm glad to see that. It, remember? Do you remember no, that story? No, I don't. Yeah, so I'm glad to see that it is up it's, and running and serving the community yeah, well. You know, and I know a lot of people will sign up for that because weddings, even you know, when you're not including the lodging and the travel, things get uh, really expensive really fast. Yes, so. I have a feeling there's going to be hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the cake so yeah. those two things at least covered uh, still to come here in sports it was opening night for the Fresno Grizzlies we have got highlights as the Grizz face the Stockton ports that's coming up next in Sports Central hot dog seriously now after a car accident, why should I get Berg Injury Lawyers? Well, because it's our long-standing policy that we only get paid if you get paid. And the more the insurance company pays you, the more they pay us. So you only get more if I get more? That's right. It's a true win-win. And at Berg Injury Lawyers, that comes with our no fee guarantee. If you don't win, you pay nothing. Car accident? Get Berg and get our no fee guarantee. 1-800-400-BERG. We mark every inch they grow and watch them outgrow, well, everything. But there's something else that can grow that we don't see. It's what doctors call toxic stress. It's how a child's body responds to difficult experiences from harsh language to a painful loss. But there are steps parents can take to help. Learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress at first5california.com. While most drivers spend their lives going from point A to B, in America, we're all about point X. That's why our most versatile BMW X-Range vehicles are proudly manufactured right here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The BMW X-Range. Your next X-Venture starts here. Hurry in to lease a 2023 BMW X3 S-Drive 30i for $5.69 per month. Don't let the insurance company push you around. Get a law firm that can push them around. The team at Jacoby & Myers has gotten our clients up to 10 times the insurance company's original offer. Don't settle for less. Choose Jacoby & Myers. The latest conditions live. The CBS 47 Valley Cam Network on Eyewitness News. Now yourcentralvalley.com, pros who know. At United Health Centers, we've opened new locations to better serve our Kings, Tulare, and Fresno County communities. Call or stop by a beautiful new center near you. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. Grab the keys to a new Toyota. Let's go! A new season means new opportunities. Discover action-packed adventure in a brand new Toyota truck. Get low 3.99% APR on a legendary Tacoma. Check out the powerful Tundra. Or lease a Tacoma double cab 4x4 for as low as $369 a month. Let's go places. Now, Sports Central, presented by Toyota. Tuesday night marked home openers for both our local minor league teams. The Fresno Grizzlies and Visalia Rawhide opened their seasons last week on the road. To Chuck Chansey Park, Grizzlies manager Steve Solis in his first season as skipper, packed house in downtown Fresno as the Grizz hosted the Ports. Top of the first inning, Fresno turns a quick double play to end the inning and get out of trouble. We're scoreless heading into the fourth. Top of the fourth inning now, two on for Stockton. Jose Mujica drills it out to right field. Robbie Martin Jr. and Clark Elliott come home to score. Fresno tacks on a few runs late, but it's not enough. Stockton takes game one, five to four. It was also the home opener for the Visalia Rawhide on Tuesday night. Visalia hosting Rancho Cucamonga at Valley Strong Ballpark. The first 250 fans received an opening night hat. Visalia winless this season and both scoreless and hitless in this game until the fifth inning here when the Rawhide manufacture a run. Juan Cornell walks, steals second, and then advances to third on the throwing error. Two batters later now he scores. Manuel Pena brings him in with an RBI single to left. However, the Quakes win this one 8-5. Visalia now 0-4 this season. 
Fresno State baseball in action Tuesday night, hosting Long Beach State for a quick game. Diamond Dogs suffered a 10-7 loss. With the loss, Fresno State is riding a six-game losing skid. The Dogs look to bounce back on Friday when they open up a series against San Diego State. The Aztecs sit atop the conference standings. To basketball now, the Cavender Twins are one and done at Miami. The former Bulldogs announced on social media this morning they will not be utilizing their fifth year of eligibility due to COVID, and instead they will start a new chapter. They didn't specify what that new chapter is. Haley and Hannah Cavender helped Miami get to the Elite Eight this season. That's after spending the previous three seasons at Fresno State. Here's what they wrote on social media. They said, quote, thank you for an unforgettable season. The love and support we received from the university and the city was special. The U will always be home and we are forever proud to be Hurricanes. What started as us playing basketball 16 years ago turned into something bigger than we could have ever imagined. Also in the NBA for the first time ever, all four California teams, the Kings, Lakers, Clippers, and Warriors, are all officially in the postseason. That's going to do it for sports. Back to you, Brian. Angelique, thank you. Still to come here on Eyewitness News at 11, a preview of the upcoming passing of the collar ceremony for Fresno State's mascot. Causes is a curve down there. Can it be treated? Stop typing and start talking. It could be a medical condition called Peyronie's disease or PD, and it could be treated without surgery. Find a specialized urologist who can diagnose PD and build a treatment plan with you. Visit makeapdplan.com today. At Bergen Tree Lawyers, we focus on car accidents. And we have one goal, to get you the best possible result in the least amount of time. When you're seriously injured, you can't afford to be shortchanged by the insurance company. That's why we're here. We stand up to the insurance company for you. If you've been injured in a car accident, get burned. Because car accidents are what we do. Allergy, asthma, immunology is what I thought I'd be practicing. Lo and behold, 50% of my cases were skin issues. Skin allergies, rashes. Why is my skin the way it is? Is it an allergy? I stand out in terms of being a unicorn almost because you don't usually hear about skin immunologists. I'm an immunologist who improves your skin barrier so you don't get infiltrated by foreign particles. That's the benefit that my patients get. The viewer seems to have been lost in the shuffle of cable news lately. The vast majority of people are in the sensible middle. They're not the far right wing and they're not the far left wing. They don't want a team sport. They want the full picture. The appetite is greater than it has ever been for perspective, for understanding, and for information that they can not just trust, but use. See why America's fastest growing cable news network is News Nation. At rallies, I'm in the driver's seat. Give me that $5 meal deal with a rally burger. Better yet, make it a mushroom Swiss burger, plus famous seasoned fries, eight-piece chicken bites, and a drink for just five bucks. Yeah, all that. On second thought, why not go big? Give me double the shrooms. I want a fried mushroom Buford. Mush boom. Mushroom Swiss burger or fried mushroom Buford. Whatever you order, own it at rallies. When I got hurt in a car wreck, I had so many questions. After a car wreck, call us. We'll speak with you for free and answer all your questions. Dunian Law got me $450,000. Call D-U-N-N-I-O-N. Coming up tomorrow, it's Watch Out Wednesday. I take a look at a scam where con artists are using puppies to scam you out of your information. Plus, we take a look at the forecast across the valley. Coming up on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, tonight's guests are actress Jennifer Garner and Congresswoman Katie Porter. We're just a few days away from the first passing of the collar ceremony. That is when Fresno State mascot Victor E. Bulldog III will officially retire and pass on the collar to Victor E. Bulldog IV. It is set for noon Sunday before the first pitch at Biden Field, the Fresno State baseball game versus San Diego State. Both Bulldogs were guests on our, at our station today and tonight. We're hearing from their handler about the upcoming ceremony. The, it will be the official passing of the collar between Victor E. the third, so he'll come out wearing the collar, and then the president um, will be doing um, the, the official passing to Victor E. Bulldog the fourth. Victor E. Bulldog the third has been working as a live mascot for Fresno State for nearly eight years now. I've been dying to meet him. They were in the green room today, and I went walking right on by. I said, hey, 
good looking bulldogs and kept walking. I thought they were just like <laughs> up for adoption from like uh, an adoption agency because we have, you know, we have animals here all the time. Walked right, how embarrassing is that? You're still thinking about it hours and hours I'm so later. mad at myself. I'm like, how did that even happen? I know, but Everybody I, here got a photo op with them. Don't worry, I didn't either. <laughs> Walked right the past them. <laughs> Last word goes to you tonight. All right, we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping back upper 60s tomorrow and Thursday, and then we return to the 70s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we cool down again Monday with a breeze, and then right at 70 next Tuesday. All right, that will do it for this edition of Eyewitness News at 11. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert is up next. Sleep well and good night. what you choose, you save. Carl's Jr.'s all-day two-for-five deal lets you pick two tasty items, like our savory cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, chicken stars, or French toast dips for just five bucks. Only at Carl's Jr. When nature calls, make sure you're ready to answer. with the most awarded lineup of SUVs ever. Get great offers like these during the Jeep Celebration event. Going on now, come experience the Clovis difference. 1,000 positions hiring. Endless opportunity. Benefit from world-class training. A six-figure starting salary and make a positive difference in your community. Apply now, scan the code, or visit jointhecHP1000.com. We all need something different from our home. You're approved. That's why Golden One helps you get more. From lower rates to expert advice from people who can guide you through the process, we make sure you get more so you can be more. Good news. No matter what you choose, you save. Carl's Jr.'s all-day two-for-five deal lets you pick two tasty items, like our savory cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, chicken stars, or French toast dips for just five bucks. Only at Carl's Jr. Need help? CBS 47 is on your side. Contact us. This morning, backlash brewing against Bud Light over its product placement deal with TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney, a transgender actress. Connected her transgender status to what has historically been a male-dominated brand. The hashtag Go Woke, Go Broke has been trending online with some customers turning against the beer, including musician Kid Rock. <laughs> Bud Light. Are you tired of woke beer that blurs gender lines? Want to drink the beer that you were assigned at birth? Then reach for Shaft Beer, the only brew that comes in a can shaped like a penis, so you know just who it's for. Pop one open and put it in your mouth. Shaft harkens back to a golden time when men knew how to do man stuff, like grab assing in the shower. So tug on a Shaft today. And if you want less beer, try Shaft Light. It's the same beer, but it's in a can the size of Kid Rock's penis. to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It was an absolutely... 
I mean, everybody's in a great mood. It's a be beautiful spring day here in New York. The sun was shining in the sky. The flowers were blooming in the fields. The discarded face masks were blowing in the streets. <laughs> Speaking of which, yesterday, President Biden signed a House bill immediately ending the COVID-19 national emergency. The emergency is officially over, ladies and gentlemen. This means... I'm not sure what it means. For, I'm not sure what it means like for our health, but here this means that we here can finally get back to some of our favorite pre-pandemic late show segments, like Subway Blind Taste Test. Is it a Brooklyn-bound F train running express on the D line? Yes! Oh my God! Honey, I'm so excited. Then, <laughs> then this morning, Biden was off to the Emerald Ireland. The trip is part diplomacy and part homecoming because Biden's ancestors came to the U.S. from Ireland in the mid 1800s when Biden was just a teen. <laughs> Ahead of the trip, oldie but a goodie. Ahead of the trip, CNN caught up.